Tadam! Alright, um, in the pursuit of looking for different grinders and their qualities, since I have the tools to test them, I have the groove sifter, I have the groove ruler, um, I'm also playing with the dye fluid um, particle analyzer lately, and also the Jonathan Gagne's um, software which is a bit more complicated, but I think it's more accurate. Yeah. Um, yeah, in the pursuit of finding different grinders and their qualities, I remember watching Tetsu Kasuya's video from a long, long time ago, um, which he tested the crew sifter with different, um, different grinders. He was comparing a lot of common grinders and some odd ones. And this is one of the odd ones, all right? This is the Daiso Japan coffee grinder, coffee mill. Actually, they call it coffee mill. So this is the Daiso coffee mill. I ordered it a few days ago and it just arrived. We are opening it today and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. The online store that I've ordered this from says it's direct from Japan. Actually, I've been looking for this specific grinder for quite some time now, for a long, long time now. Um, and I've been looking for it locally. And I luckily stumbled upon it and one night when I was just browsing through the online marketplace. So I ordered it. Yeah, so we're gonna see it. Oh, there is an oh, there is a receipt inside. It says here Marikina, <laughs> so it's not direct from Japan. <laughs> the receipt says it's from city of Marikina. Right, so it's a local shop. It's a local Daiso. Um, it's a local Daiso branch here in the Philippines from Marikina. They have this, so good for everyone. Right, you can get it there. Oh, right here it is. Um, the packaging is all in Japanese, but it says here it's a coffee mill. They call it coffee mill. Right, so we're gonna open it. Um, it's obvious that the sticker, the seal, is tampered with. I'm not sure why it is open or why they tampered with the seal. Maybe they simply checked the um, contents inside. All right. Oh, de ba? Look at this weird looking grinder. This is going to be my first time. Um, seeing this and holding it and it's an actual glass the jar the jar under the jar that came with it is an actual glass jar right and immediately i i can see that the that the burr even though it's a ceramic burr it is um, stabilized. You see this bar running across here in the middle? Yeah, that means that the axle is stabilized. Right. Um, and then you can see from this side here, this is, um, you see those dots that are varying in size 
Obviously, that is your grind size and this is your adjustment ring. Right. Okay, I'm gonna try and figure out how to... Oh, there. Oh, that's how you open it. Right. And the hopper looks really nice. Okay, it only has it only has five steps. Okay, it only has five steps, so from coarsest size to the finest one. So I'm thinking we don't have in a, we don't have a lot of room to adjust. Yeah, there is no room for fine adjustments because we have five different steps. And yeah, but I'm impressed with the construction of this. Right? Since the since the burr is stabilized under, I'm sure that we are going to get um, an actually good um, particle distribution even though that we have a ceramic bird here oh okay so the handle works this works like this so if you store it let's say you're going to travel if you store it um, you can push it in so that it will stay in the middle you see that there is nothing that comes to the side. There's nothing sticking out. Yeah, it stays in the middle. And then you tighten this part so that it's not actually moving a lot. Oh, so that it doesn't slide. So it's, it will still rotate, but it doesn't slide out. Yeah, so that's good for, that's, a, that's actually good for storing it when you travel. And then when you want to use it, you loosen this nut and then pull it out. Yeah, pull it out and then you tighten it down. But it's quite... But it's a very short handle. Um, yeah, it's a very short handle. I, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what the grinding experience will be. But I think this is going to be very hard because number one, you have ceramic burst in there. Number two, you have a very short crank arm. This is this is about. Yeah, it's about two and a two, two and a half or two and one fourth. Two and one fourth um, inches of crank arm length, and you have a very small crank handle. You can actually tighten this down, I think. Ah, no. So, they, it, this is um, this part, the crank handle is loose um, for the purpose of easy, easily turning it. Right. Um, let's get some coffee beans and we're gonna try grinding with it. Um, right. Um, we have old beans here so that. We don't waste fresh beans, right? So I have the setting to the middle, the number three. Right. Okay. <laughs> now let's try grinding some coffee beans.
Uh, number one, it is very hard to hold because of the very small crank handle. You're basically, you're basically pinching the crank handle like that. Yeah, because basically you can't put your hand, your whole hand to grip it. So you're just pinching it. But the burrs are surprisingly working very well. I must admit, <laughs> it's working very well actually. Yeah, I assume it's because of the stabilization under. I think we have a good grind quality here. Yeah, there are a lot of boulders, but a lot of fines too. But basically, you just have two different grind sizes here. The boulders and the fines. And I think the fines are, are the intended grind size. Yeah, because it is it is the majority. Well, the boulders, the boulders they have they have very different shapes. Yeah, they have very different shapes. I I, I guess they are the product of of shattering. Uh, maybe maybe we should try one more one more round. Because I'm thinking I've put too little into it. Oh, and I love the hopper. The hopper is very wide. Yeah, this is very wide. It is, um, right now it is 70 millimeters. 70 mm. And the diameter is 75 mm. Oh no. Yeah, 75 mm. It's even wider than the Comandante. Oh, maybe I should try um, one step one step finer. So number two. <laughs> it's actually working surprisingly well. I'm not hating it. Yeah, and it's even it's even um, easier to grip because of the very wide diameter of the whole thing. But it's taxing at this point. My my arm is my arm is killing me. Yeah, this part right here. Yeah, I can feel it. But I'm not hating it 100%. Wow, this is working surprisingly well. It's weird. Yeah, and the feeling, remember in one of my episodes, I told you that you can actually feel the vibration of the beans, just like driving a car that you feel the road. Um, with this grinder, I feel that the, the beans are too soft. I feel like they're, it feels like the beans are mushy. It's weird, it's weird. Yeah, but the, but the grind size are... Well, th the particles are surprisingly... They don't look too bad. As much as I want to try and brew this um, coffee, um, I don't have a lot of my gears right now because I'm traveling tomorrow and I've already packed everything. But... Yeah, it could be it could be a content for another video, but yeah, for now initial initial thoughts, I think I think it works surprisingly well. 
and it just started raining. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. This is the Daiso Coffee Mill. I'll be making more videos about it. I'll be doing another comparison video, um, especially with the with the Porlex. I, I already commissioned a Porlex from Tita April. So this will be a head-to-head -head battle with the Porlex as well. Um, we'll be doing a video about the Porlex too. But for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!